So in statistics, there's a lot of really important terms, and so I'm going to go over some of them with you right now. Uh, some of them are not actually that complicated, some are actually really quick. So let's see how these go. Um, I like this, of course, grumpy cat. I love math, that makes people cry. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, quantitative variables. Now, quantitative versus qualitative is important, right? Because qualitative is something you can more just sort of describe or categorize, whereas quantitative is something that you can actually count. That's why we say quantitative, because it's like a quantity. So quantitative variables are going to be things that we can count and measure. So for example, there can be discrete variables. These are things that are like exact numbers. Uh, those usually come from counting. For example, you can count, you know, the number of plums on my tree. We actually have a plum tree at home, uh, for example. So, you know, if you're counting those, I mean, those come in countable amounts, right? There might be zero or one or two or dot, 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 right? Those are discrete values. In other words, you can't get half of something. Same with like numbers of students uh, in a class. You can have zero or one or two or whatever. Uh, so, you know, you, you can't get a half student. Well, you can, I guess it's messy. Uh, so this is discrete variables. These are things that come in countable amounts. Uh, we can compare that to continuous. This is something in a certain range. So this can be a decimal. Uh, it could be, for example, the height of students. If you think about it, height of students isn't just, uh, you know, one value or another value. Things come in, there's a whole range of different values possible. Uh, for example, if we're doing things in metric, uh, you know, the height of students, I don't know, maybe it's anywhere between like 1.5 meters and, I don't know, Let's say someone's really tall. It can be anywhere in between here. So it can be 1.5, 1.53, 1.61. There's a whole range of values here possible. Right? So uh, that could be height of students. That's an example of something that's continuous. Now, if we want to try to sort of see the, the, res the relation, I guess, between all this stuff, I thought it'd be nice to sort of draw it all like this. So first, we have data. And this data, I know it's not very clear with this uh, yellow on here, but uh, let's just try to do it here like this. You can have data that is categorical, in other words, qualitative. That's again, you know, categorizing things, uh, you know, colors or whatever, I don't know. Um, that's not really so important for us in mathematics, not as important, certainly, um, as numerical or quantitative. Within that, there's two subsets, right? That's where you have the discrete and the continuous ones. Discrete are the ones, like I said, that come in countable initial, you know, um, whole number amounts. And continuous, which can be a, a range of values, something in a certain range at least. Uh, that wasn't so bad. Let's talk about the mean. I love this one. My math teacher says I was average. How mean. So the mean is just the average. Uh, this is maybe uh, the more important one of these here. We have different symbols that we use for the mean. Sometimes we use the symbol mu, like this one right here. And sometimes we use this x with a line on top. Both of these mean the mean. They mean the average. To do an average, it just means you add up all the values that you're looking at, divided by the number of terms there are. That's how we do an average. For example, if you had uh, you know, three different tests, well, here you would add up the three different test scores. You divide that by the number of tests, which is three in this case. So for example, this is really, really simple and maybe silly, but it's just it's a good idea to know these basic definitions, right? I don't mean basic as in easy, although in this case they are kind of. I mean basic as in a base, as in everything else relies on it. Uh, so what's the average here? I mean, here, if we wanted to do it here, we could say, well, the average, Right, which is this mu, is just equal to the sum of all the data values. So in this case, I'm just going to go 2 plus 2.5 uh, plus 4.8 plus 6.1 plus 0 0.5. That's the sum of all the values. I divide that by the number of values. In other words, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, there's 5 terms. So I divide it by 5. All I have to do then is get out my calculator, which is here. I'll just add a calculator and I just have to do this average All right so let's just say here so it's uh two oops let's actually print it up I always like to make it look a little bit nicer so we'll do this little um fraction here so we'll do uh two plus 2.5 plus 4.8 plus 6.1 plus 0 0.5 I do all that divided by five and my answer is 3.18. And good news, it's already three significant figures. So in this case, that actually worked out nicely. So the average then is 3.18. That's it.
That's how you do the average. So I hope you see it. It's not so bad. It certainly could be worse. Uh, so let's do another one. Then we've got the median. The median is just the middle value in an ordered set. Whoops, I sort of deleted it myself. There we go, median. It's the middle value in an ordered data set. What I mean by order is you, you absolutely must put them in the order first. So in other words, if things are not in order of like largest to smallest or smallest to largest, you need to put them in that order. The median could be halfway between two terms, that's allowed. So in this case right here, uh, these are not in order. So these need to be put in order. Uh, so let me do that. So first of all, I need to order them. So I'll say order them, exclamation mark, let's see here. And let's see here now, if I want to order them, then I would put the smallest number, which is this 0.5, uh, then comes the two, then comes the 2.5, then is 4.8, and then it's 6.1. One, two, three, four, there's five terms. And when they've been ordered, then the median is just the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, there's five terms, so the middle is this one. So that's really easy then, the median is just 2.5. Seems almost too easy, that's because it kind of is, but you'll see, things get really uh, more interesting really fast. It's just, it's important to know these definitions and these terms. Now we've got the mode. I like this, it's my mode to not be mean. I'm the median with my wide range of taste. It's just using some silly stats terms, right? The mode is just the most common one. So in other words, if you have a whole bunch of different uh, values and a few of them you know, show up a bunch of times, the one that shows up the most amount of times, that's the mode. It's actually pretty straightforward. Percentile, however, is a lot more interesting. So we're gonna go a little bit deeper into that one. 